Hey everyone, it's Jaden here at speedcubeshop.com and today we're gonna to be revisiting the RS3M 2020 to see how it compares to the modern day flagships here in 2023. So the RS3M 2020 was considered to be one of, if not the best budget cube. Not only was it able to compete with other budget cubes, but it was able to compete with some of the flagships of its time. But it's been a few years and there's been a lot of new cubes and a lot of new features, so it's going to be interesting to see how it compares to those new cubes and features. To properly compare the RS3M 2020, we're going to need to quickly go over the actual features and performance of this cube. So for just $8.95 at speedcubeshop.com, you get a magnetic cube that also has a dual adjustment system. So in the centerpiece, we have a screw that is to adjust the tensions of the cube. We have this blue ring here that affects the spring compression. To make adjustments to the spring compression, you'll use this tool, which you just insert into the grooves and turn counterclockwise to increase the spring compression. And that's it for the features. There's no maglev, no cord magnets, and no other built-in customization features. When it comes to performance, out of the box, this cube is fairly fast, but has a very dry and sandy turning feel. The corner cutting is just about 45 with a bit of effort, and the reverse is just under line to line. With that out of the way, let's see how it compares to some of these modern day cubes. So I grabbed two budget cubes and two flagship cubes, just to kind of see where the RS3M 2020 will land between these two options. First up are the budget cubes, starting off with the SwiftBlock 355S. This cube is $12.95 at speedcubeshop.com and it has magnets and a dual adjustment system. This system includes a screw to adjust the tensions and quite a unique blue ring here to adjust the spring compression. There are only five settings for the spring compression, whereas the RS3M 2020 has nine settings. However, this one doesn't require the use of a tool. All you have to do is take a finger or two and just turn it clockwise. And similar to the RS3M 2020, that is it for the features. No maglev, core magnets, or any other built-in customization options. So on stock tensions, this cube is a fair bit slower than the RS3M, but is significantly smoother. And while it is a bit tighter, it is still relatively fast. When it comes to corner cutting, it's pretty similar. It requires a little bit of effort to cut 45 degrees forward and is just under line to line for reverse. Now moving on to the Chi M Pro, this cube is $9.95 at speedcubeshop.com, is magnetic and has a dual adjustment system. Once again, we have a screw for tensions and this white ring here with 11 settings for the spring compression. To make the adjustments, just take one or two fingers and turn clockwise to make the spring compression higher. Once again, there's no maglev, core magnets, or any other built-in customization features. On stock settings, this cube is quite fast, almost to the point where it's uncontrollable. There is a decent amount of factory lube in here and the turning feel is quite smooth. So the corner cutting is just a bit over 45 degrees forward and the reverse corner cutting is just about line to line. So how does the RS3M 2020 compare to the modern day budget cubes? Well, I definitely think it beats out the SwiftBlocks 355S. The RS3M 2020 has more spring compression settings and is just a little bit faster out of the box. And since it has relatively similar performance, I would say that it's just a better option to go with the cheaper puzzle since the SwiftBlocks is about $4 more expensive. But when the RS3M 2020 is compared to the GEM Pro, that's where I have to put a little more thought into it. You do get more spring compression settings, you get a faster turning feel out of the box, and you get better corner cutting for just a dollar more. However, with that said, I feel the Chi M Pro does require a little bit of setup out of the box just to make it more controllable, whereas the RS3M 2020 is pretty much just ready to go. I find that with budget cubes, it's better to have one that's ready to go out of the box. That's because the people buying these are typically beginners and don't really know how to set up their cubes. So for me, I would go with the RS3M 2020, but I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts on this down in the comments below. So now we can go ahead and move on to the modern day flagships. For this part of the comparison, I'm going to be using the most feature heavy version versions of these cubes, mainly to see how well the RS3M 2020 stacks up to just a cube that has every feature you can imagine. First up, we have the WRM V9. This cube is $42.95 at speedcubeshop.com, has UV coating, maglev, corner to core magnets, and the same dual adjustment system as the RS3M 2020. Since it has the same dual adjustment system, I don't need to go over it again, just know that that is the extent of the customization for this cube. So out of the box, this cube is quite fast and almost uncontrollable, but the corner to core magnets are fairly strong, so it helps with that controllability and makes the cube more stable. The turning on this cube is a little sandy, but for the most part, relatively smooth. The turning on this cube is a little sandy, but for the most part, relatively smooth. 
the corner cutting is a fair bit over 45 and reverses just a little bit over line to line. Now onto the next cube, we have the GAN 14 Maglev. This is probably the most feature heavy 3x3 that you can get. This cube is $87.95 at speedcubeshop.com. It has UV coating, adjustable corner decor magnets, adjustable magnet strength, a dual adjustment system. It's got Maglev. This thing has pretty much everything. Now, since there are so many customizable features, I won't be able to go over all of them in this video, but we do have a nice YouTube short that does go over all of it, and you can check it out right up here. On stock settings, this cube is uncontrollably fast. It's light and airy, but again, just, it's so fast. There is a bit of a weird internal catching issue that is similar to the GAN 12. I know in later batches of the GAN 12 that did get fixed, so this might be the same kind of issue. So maybe as future batches come along, that may be a problem that just goes away. But as of right now, in the first few batches that we have, there seems to be a noticeable catching issue. For the corner cutting, it's about 45 degrees with no effort any more than that, and you risk popping your cube. For reverse, it's just a little bit over line to line. So how does the RS3M 2020 compare to the modern day flagships with all the bells and whistles? Well, I'd say out of the box, I definitely prefer the RS3M 2020. That's mainly because again, it doesn't really require any setup out of the box. However, these two flagships definitely do. But when the cubes are fully set up, it's no question that the flagship cubes are significantly better. That's not to say that the RS3M 2020 is bad when it's set up, it just doesn't quite live up to the other two cubes here. But that does make sense as this is a cube from 2020 and it is only around $9. So my final thoughts is that the RS3M 2020 definitely beats out some of these modern day budget cubes for sure. But when it comes to these flagships, if you know how to properly set up your cubes, it's no question that you should definitely be going for these higher end puzzles. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. And again, comment down below your thoughts on how the RS3M 2020 stacks up to all these different modern day cubes. Thank you guys for supporting the shop. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.